What do you think that sort of culture of innovation and Amazon culture, how does it rub off on the aerospace sector? How do they translate that in a meaningful way? Yeah, John, I'm glad you brought culture because I think when we do invite aerospace customers to tour a, a fulfillment center, sometimes the reaction ultimately becomes, yeah, but what we're shipping is not books and charging cables and things like that. Yeah, we're, we're we're delivering highly specialized items, require specialized packaging. And how, how am I really going to learn or absorb anything there? Um, and so when we do bring customers there, it isn't the idea that you can just copy and paste or lift and shift all the operations or the robotics or anything that, that happened in the filament center into another environment. It really is 100% about culture and particularly the culture of data. And I think you kind of highlighted there, you know, things like variable cost analysis, and total cost of ownership. But I think the, the most important thing is the immediacy of real-time data that's that's presented to at, you know, a first-line supervisor who can see what things are happening. So we brought the CEO of a large aerostructures manufacturer to one of our fulfillment centers about a year ago. And one of the things he was most impressed by is we were kind of walking through and watching an operator who was uh, picking items and, and putting them into one of our, our large uh, Kiva robot still bins. And a manager came over, has a uh, vest on, says coach on the back, and asked what doing what they were doing, and basically had found out through a dashboard that you know the operator's uh, performance was was a little bit slower than what the standard had been expected for. So they were also able to realize this operator was relatively new to Amazon, so they're still learning on opportunities. So they deployed a coach right away to help the person understand. You know, are there issues that we can help somebody recognize things through. And it's that type of immediacy action that allows you to to really kind of reflect on what data can unlock for you as a company. And it, we ended up spending, I think we had forecasted about two hours for the tour. We ended up spending more than six hours with him as he just really interrogated the use of data, how it would unlock in terms of innovation, what different things could people do. And you know, when you go through a fulfillment center, anybody who's had an Amazon package delivered, I, uh, I'm sure will recognize that you know, our packaging has changed. Everything used to come in a very standard corrugate cardboard box. Sometimes people would complain that you might buy an item that's this small and the box is this big. But what we've relied on because of that data is we've been able to shrink the amount of packaging. We've been able to shrink the amount of impact on the environment because we know so much more about form fit function of the of the product being delivered. We've been able to deliver our own uh, develop and deliver our own customized packaging for that. And it's those kinds of innovations that really are require that type of real-time data analytics and that culture of understanding data and how do you leverage it with immediacy to, to drive that type of innovation throughout the company.